can the United States realistically bring manufacturing to the sector uh, with this investment? Good question. Um, I think that uh, with wind, which has perhaps a uh, a supply chain that has uh, is a little bit more global. I mean, the the global wind market is is sort of basically there's two separate universes. There's China and the rest of the world, and that is the the ninety nine percent. Or, or something to that extent of wind turbines built in China are made by Chinese turbine manufacturers. And then pretty much 99% of what is built elsewhere are made by international players. Um, the components of wind turbines are big and difficult to ship around. Um, and so manufacturing is a lot more distributed. Um, and so this is, this is, there's already the seeds in the ground or actually maybe, you know, more, more than seeds in the ground. There's there's an industry and a supply chain that includes a lot of the US that can become even more US focused with this tax credit support. I'm really curious to see what can be done on solar. Yeah. It's challenging. Um, the in particular, so there's the the solar supply chain um, has you know, is is largely concentrated in Asia and in particular in China. And but the majority of uh, of cells and modules imported to the US come from Southeast Asia. However, they're using polysilicon wafers that have come from China. Um, and if if you want to have if you want to cut out well, basically, I think it's something like and I hate to use the 99 percent again, but 99 percent of the global wafer capacity is in China. Um, and so it's a very, very concentrated uh, industry globally. And so there, you're sort of, this might have been more relevant, say, 10, 15 years ago. Um, and that's not to say it'll have no impact, but I, it, it, it's a, a lot more of an uphill struggle. 